What is an instant center of velocity? The instant center of velocity can be thought of in two different ways. It can be defined as the point at which a body rotates around at a certain instant in time. It can also be a point common to two bodies where the velocity of the two bodies is the same. The instant sensor does not have to be within any of the bodies. For example, a revolute joint connects two different bodies together. At the center of the revolute joint, the two links move with the same velocity. This point is an instant center. For a sliding block on a curved surface, we know that the instant center is at the center of curvature as this is the point that the sliding block rotates around. As the curved surface flattens, the location of the instant center moves towards infinity. But why do we bother with finding the positions of the instant centers? Finding the instant centers of velocity allows us to solve engineering problems. These engineering problems involve finding unknown velocities of points of interest within a linkage when known velocities are given. The instant centers of velocity technique can also be used to find the unknown angular velocities of links. The instant centers of velocity technique is useful when only two or three velocities or angular velocities are of interest. It may be used to find input-output velocity relationships of complex mechanisms. It may be combined with the conservation of energy method to find input-output force or torque relationships. How many instant centers are there in a linkage? The number of instant centers may be given by n multiplied by n minus 1 on 2, where n is the number of links. How do we find instant centers? We use the kennedy ehrenhold theorem, which says that if there are three bodies, then there are three instant centers, and those three instant centers are collinear. Step 1. Draw the linkage to scale. Step 2. Draw a circle of arbitrary radius and place tick marks representing each link with the base frame as link 1 equally around the perimeter of the circle. Step 3. By inspection, locate as many instant centers as possible and draw a straight line between the corresponding numbers on the circle. Step 4. If a line can be drawn between two points on the circle such that the line is the only unknown side of two triangles, the instant center represented by that line lies at the intersection of the two lines drawn through the instant center pairs that are identified by the two known sides of each triangle. Once the instant center is located, the appropriate two points on the diagram are connected. What formula do we use to find the instant centers of velocity? We use the relative velocity formula. The velocity at point 2 is equal to the velocity at point 1 plus the velocity of point 2 with respect to point 1. v2 equals v1 plus v2 with respect to v1. If we take point 1 as a point of zero velocity, the equation reduces to v2 equals v2 with respect to 1. And using a basic formula, v2 equals v2 slash 1 equals omega 2 cross r2 slash 1. 